What's going on y'all? It's Turning Wheels. We're going to be looking at the 5610 by Innova and I want to thank them for sending this out to me. Uh, so this thing has active tests, special functions, service reset, some service checks, battery alternator test. What I want to do, I want to see what all's in the uh, special functions and the active test. So let's go in here to active test right here. Let's do powertrain, uh, engine control module. So you can actually test your cooling fans. I don't know if you'll be able to hear it, but right now we're in the middle of summer in June. Linking with the control unit, one second. Commanded state, none. So I can turn this 20%, 40, 50, 70, 90. Let's do 100. Or let's do 90, sorry. Let's see, it says it's on 90. I don't know if y'all can hear the fans. You can control the purge solenoid, the evap vent solenoid, the fuel pump relay. Let's see, what else is there? Okay, I believe that's the four ones on this vehicle. Every vehicle is going to have different options that you can do. Uh, but this is what a 2013 uh, Chevrolet Silverado can do. Let's see. Let's go back. So special functions. One moment, please. Powertrain. Engine control module. Uh, so you can do a crankshaft position variation learn engine speed slash throttle uh, fuel system heated oxygen sensor heater learn idle learn reset this one's really important if you do if you clean the throttle body and you move the butterfly valve uh, this will be able to reset the uh, idle which a lot of times you know you'd have to go to like a garage or auto repair place but using this in Nova 5610 you won't have to you can use this tool to do it service bay test uh let's see brake pedal position sensor learn i did not even know about that um remote vehicle start disable history reset okay that's a new one i did not know the engine oil life reset uh, on this vehicle you can either reset it using the tool or you turn the key over to accessory and you press the gas pedal three times within five seconds i believe and then that'll reset the uh engine oil life on the uh engine control module so that's those right there let's see let's go back let's see what else is on here powertrain service resets oil reset battery reset steering angle sensor calibration that's the sas steering angle sensor uh, electronic parking brake reset this one don't have one diesel particulate filter reset now they has these resets on here it's not going to apply to every vehicle uh, it's going to apply to like a general mass of vehicles abs bleeding that'll work on this vehicle let's see reset oil maintenance no okay let's go back service checks Transmission fluid temperature 145 degrees. Engine oil level okay. Oil life remaining 61%. So that's good. Has plenty of oil. OBD mode test. OBD monitor test. Let's see what that says. Oxygen sensor monitor bank one sensor one. Oxygen sensor monitor bank one sensor two. Okay. The EVAP test, what do these do? Not supported. I am monitor test. This drive cycle. Misfire monitor enabled. Fuel system monitor disabled. Oxygen sensor monitor disabled. Because I do have that little range plug in. Let's see. Comprehensive component. Catalyst monitor. So we can go back. Let's see, let's go back. And you can turn off that chime if you don't like it on there. It's not a big deal. Uh, battery alternator test. Hmm, so this thing has quite a bit of functions, guys. If you're looking to get a scan tool, I would recommend this thing. It's pretty cool. The Innovo Auto 5610. And it also has a remote solutions too to get help from certified uh, ASE technicians. Thanks for watching, guys. Like, comment, subscribe.